Always growing, ever changing, never stagnating, because that's what the kingdom is about. See, I always used to think that church was about just going each Sunday and getting your blessing, as mama would say. But what I didn't realize was I was still dying inside each day. Still dealing with my mess, I confess. Didn't realize the generational curses were manifesting, testing, gripping me as I was succumbing to the strongholds of the enemy. Chip at the chip of my life. <sighs> Being blown away. Continuing to do what I wanted to do and always have my way. Kind of like having my cake and eat it too, but with a serious price to pay. See, church is about more than just showing up each Sunday, singing with the choir and shouting for his glory. It's about many members, one body, all coming together on one accord to teach and preach about the gospel. It's about inner healing and deliverance so that souls can be saved and not be lost in the wave of the spiritual attack sent by the enemy that's taking people out one by one. See, there are many people right now in spiritual bondage but don't even know it because they're buried so deep into sin because of the effects of trauma they're desensitized. But as the body of Christ, we're distracted with so many lies, such as who hurt my feelings, what so-and-so did to me, where is my money, where can I get a bad car or a house like them, why are they the choir director and not me, how could they do this to me, and I'm grasping my head like, is this a reality? When in reality, we should press beyond our emotions and fleshly desires, you see. We're so dialed into them, we forget about him and how he sent his son who died for our sins so that we can be forgiven for our transgressions. It's about the change on the inside, the inner spark that helps to touch people's lives and show them they don't have to live life in despair. So now, more than ever before, it is time to take our place, to show our face, and rise up just as our ancestors did, to help bring healing to this bitter land and claim our freedom, not only in the natural, but also in the kingdom. Because there are many people depending on our obedience. So now is not the time to sit back and be distant. It is time to deny ourselves, pick up the cross, and follow him because there are souls out there that need to be saved that are currently burning in hell. So this is a roll call to take your place and put on the breastplate of righteousness for the ongoing spiritual battle we face. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Hear that? Time's a wasting. What are you going to do? Move forward or be complacent? 